This is an unthinkable story out of Arizona. First responders rushing to a house fire, but that instead forced to run for their lives at a shooter as a shooter targets them. We know one person was killed in that chaos, and News Nation's Adrian Bankert is here. Adrian, so we're getting our first look at this body camera footage, and this was just released by police. Yes, this story is absolutely crazy, Nicole. It has several twists and turns. The person who died was a neighbor who was trying to help firefighters put out that fire when bullets started flying that Sunday afternoon. And we want to warn you, some of the video is disturbing. I just have to be pulling a pre-connect for primary search and fire attack. This will be a work incident. Shots fired. Code 99. We got shots being fired. No units come to see me. TPD stat. Tucson police say the suspect, 35-year-old Leslie Scarlett, was at the scene of this fire, then drove about a mile away to a nearby park where he shot two first responders who were sitting in an ambulance. Then Scarlett returned to the house fire and began shooting at both firefighters and neighbors trying to help put that fire out. The real question we should be asking is, how can we coordinate the work of our criminal justice and mental health systems to prevent these terrible attacks. Who are these ticking time bombs? And is there anything we can do working together instead of in silos to predict their level of risk? How does someone like the suspect in this case, a prohibited possessor, even come to have a firearm? Scarlett is currently hospitalized in extremely critical condition. Now, police say they don't know why he went on that rampage, but the tragic story doesn't end there. The neighbor who was killed, 44-year-old Corey Saunders, died in front of his 11-year-old son, and firefighters found human remains inside the burning home. The mother of the three children who live there is unaccounted for. Police believe she is dead, and right now the cause of the fire is also unknown.